All right, we're gonna do a quick video on how to set up your Dyno Spectrum ECU tune for installing the Lystune TCU tune. Uh, first thing we need to do is connect to the Dyno Spectrum dongle. So we've got our Wi-Fi password already stored. So we're gonna log in there. So that should be attached now. We're gonna open up our web browser and he's got it stored up at the top there. Actually, I'm just gonna hover over that, that way you guys can see it real quick. 192.168.4.1. Next thing you need to do is go download your tune. So in this instance, we're gonna grab the, this is the stage two, correct? Mm -hmm. Which one did you want? Stage two with cylinder on demand. Is that, I'm not exactly sure where you've got it hidden here. Oh, here we go. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and download that file. So keep click, right clicking. All right, that is now downloaded. And the next thing we need is the XDF, which is, oh, it's going to be this guy right here, the Tuner Pro RT.dll file. And that's going to have everything you need to install Tuner Pro and everything along those lines. Now we're going to open up Tuner Pro RT. And in this instance, um, you would open up your binary right here. That's the file that we downloaded, the uh, XDF or, and the stage two cylinder on demand file. So we're gonna open that up. We downloaded that and that is hiding where downloads. Here we go. Date modified. Oops, keep right clicking. I'm guessing that this download failed. Doesn't look like it went through. So we're gonna try and download that one more time. Cylinder on demand is the one he wants. Oh, it tell it to keep. There we go. All right. All right, there we go. So we open that up. Let me come over to, it's gonna be under the torque table. Where's that guy hiding? control there we go I just hit T on it and it goes down now we're gonna scroll down here and we're looking for TCU torque limit on one so now you see that this is set from zero this does not allow the engine to communicate with or the transmission control module to communicate with the TCU unless this is turned on above 10 kilometers per hour so we're gonna click Save there and now we're going to Actually, we're going to click save as, save bin as, and all we're going to do is do COD there, and we're just going to add TCU to the end of it. You can't make these file names too long. There is a limit on the total file size that it can be, or the characters. So now we're going to save, and we're going to come back over to the Dino Spectrum tab, and we're going to... Um, upload a file. Here we go. Choose file. TCU modified bin. Send. Receiving file. Custom file received. Cal flash. Yes. There we go. That's what it sounds like. You can see down here where it says segment one erasing. So now we're programming the car. It is now flashing all 350K. Mission accomplished. Now our ECU and TCU can talk together.